Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm gonna show you this super cool melting effect. This is the mesh effect. And uh, you know this video from the previous, uh, from what else can you do with your logo? I just discovered after I did that. So uh, I gotta do this in a separate video then. And uh, yeah, before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. So yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna create a new artboard actually somewhere around here. Um, we won't bother this one. So uh, I just gotta go here. And I still need to take the logo. So select your logo or uh, you know what you want to create this effect with. And uh, we're gonna go to the, I'm gonna increase it a little more. Go to object, go to path and go to offset path. So for me, five is good. So ma make sure you have a pretty good outline, uh, you know, like a good distance between this outline and your logo or text or whatsoever symbol you got there. Click OK. And you're left with this silhouette kind of thing and go to the Pathfinder and click Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. It's right here, located right here. Now swap it, go to here, like swap fill and stroke, make sure on the stroke. Uh, we're gonna remove now the logo. We're gonna put, wait a sec, it's grouped. I'm gonna ungroup it. And of course it's gonna ungroup everything. Group these so just put here the logo somewhere you're gonna need it anyways and uh, <clears throat> increase the size of this press and hold shift plus alt and increase the size until you're out of uh, the what is that artboard so right now I'm out of the artboard go to the effects distort and transform transform increase the copies you're gonna increase it to I don't know 17, 18, 19, I'm gonna try the 20. And decrease the horizontal and vertical until, I'm gonna do it with the 92. So this is how big is going to be the logo, uh, where you're gonna fit the text or logo or whatever you got. And go to the angle and uh, rotate it. I think, oh, I didn't rotate it this way actually. I usually rotate it in this like to the left. Make sure you're not over rotating it like this, for example, check it out. If I zoom in, there's like a lot of stuff going on. If I expand this, I need to cut out some of the forms and it's going to be really complicated because it's going to create a lot of uh, unnecessary shapes. So uh, if you have this problem, if you did this problem, then go back to the option, go to the appearance. If you don't have the appearance, go to windows and select, uh, what is that appearance? It's right here. And you have the option with the transform, you go back to the transform and you decrease the size. For example, you can see how smooth it, it's here. So this uh, way it won't have problems, but here it still will have problems. Like uh, if you're, after you, you're gonna cut it. So I'm gonna decrease to 1.5-ish. I don't know, hopefully it's gonna be good. Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, too bad, too bad I can't distort it even more. Actually, I can distort it even more, but I have uh, more work to do because I need to cut out these properly also. Do I? I don't know. I'm gonna, anyways, I'm gonna go with 1.5 and click OK. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, to the object and go to expand appearance. Swap it, you can see here, swap fill and stroke. And now we're left with this. Go to the Pathfinder, select the divide. Click on the divide, right click and ungroup. So what we're gonna do is remove this first and uh, press and hold shift and just select all the unnecessary shapes and then leave it like this. Uh, now what, what we need to do is uh, put a white square so select the white color, go here to the rectangle tool, click the rectangle tool, press and hold shift, go to this little corner where they intersect, press and hold shift and create this uh, square. Press control plus shift plus left bracket, you can see down in the left corner, uh, the shortcut, take that in mind. So it's gonna put the box down 
to every layer. I'm gonna create a new copy, press Control C and then Control F. So you're gonna put another copy on top of the copy and then press Control Shift plus uh, right bracket. I don't know what the hell is it called. Anyway, select them all and go to the transparency. If you don't have the transparency, go to Windows and select transparency and click on make mask there you go <clears throat> you still can modify this by double clicking on the vector file double click and as you can see it selected the full vector side full back vector file what's inside the square press and hold shift in my case i need to increase this a little more and somewhere around here um okay so I did increase it because I wanted the black area to go right into the corner. So it's going to be more visible that way, like that it's a square. <coughs> See these? Now they don't touch each other and, and it's clean now. It is. Okay, I'm going to create a new copy and uh, we're going to apply the mesh effect. All right, select it and go to the object. I believe it's here somewhere envelope distort and make it with mesh it's right here click it uh, click previews and now we got 10 rows 10 columns 12 columns really decrease it so but the main idea is to have more columns going on and more rows do I need like more rows yeah I need I gotta go with uh, with eight per eight let me see. I think they add more. No, it's good. Eight, eight, eight is enough for me. Okay, so it added this grid kind of thing. The main idea you can customize this stuff. So you just need to select the direct selection tool from here. This is the direct selection tool. The white little arrow, and you need to click on the anchor points. So it basically created anchor points on this grid. And you just need to pull these however you like and create some wild stuff. I think I made like too much. Um, too, sh too much grids going on in here. And also you can see handles. They have handles in here and you can customize the handles also. So it's like pretty wild. I don't know. Uh, I gotta make like something ugly out of this because I'm just gonna freestyle it and uh, I already messed it up, unfortunately, but uh, maybe next time. So anyways, this is how you make it. And you just leave it like that. And of course you need to add another box also after you distort this. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to add another box. I'm going to go and click on the white. Press M. You know, select this like the rectangle tool. Press and hold shift. Click where they intersect. Control shift plus left bracket. Control C, control F. Control C plus right bracket. There you go. Select them all. Go to transparency, make mask and boom. There you have the effect. So yeah, this is kind of it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the previous video also, which uh, was like, there's like two more videos. I'm going to add to the end of the video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.